shall not pass. How can we defend our opponent's five bar? He has earned several extra possessions, got one there, and then created a goal out of it, and a 1-0 lead here in the fifth. And a steal here and sent immediately in with a five, it's 2-0. Hi Fußvolks, my name is Lynn. I'm a football player from Germany and current world champion in women's doubles. Welcome to another episode of Strategy Sunday with Linja. If you like my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any episode. A few weeks ago, we already talked about defending the three bar offense with the current Tornado world champion Brent Morland. If you missed that one, I would recommend you to catch up. Today I'm answering you a few questions about the five bar defense so that you can make your opponent having a very hard time. Enjoy and let's go! In general it's about knowing um, what is the passing um, selection of the five bar uh, offense of your opponent uh, so that you can know how how to defend and how to how to make it very uncomfortable for your opponent. Knowing your opponent's repertoire on the five bar means that you know where the spots are um, where they want to pass and also which passes they like the most, like um, which are the sweet spots of the opponent and which are the favorite passes of the opponent, which passes uh, doesn't he like to execute um, if, he, if he doesn't have to. And all this information is necessary uh, to have a good 5 bar block. When talking about sweet spots, um, I mean, for example, if someone is doing a brush series and the ball is always on that spot close to the, close to the wall and he prefers to play the, the, the wall pass, yeah, then you should like, um, and he did it like a few times, then you should just um, gather that information and remember that spot, right? Uh, so that you know always when the ball is on that spot you will go to the wall to block it. So the five bar defense in general is about um, knowing what your opponent likes and also knowing what your opponent doesn't like. <laughs> the most common mistake on the five bar defense I see is that people are just like um, shaking around and, and not really covering any spots, right? So you have to you have to know about uh, about the uh, setup of your opponent. You have to look at the setup of your opponent. Is he doing a tic tac series? Is he doing a brush series? In which way is he doing it? Um, and then you know, for example, let's say the tic tac series uh, when he's tic tacking and he's mostly doing like uh, the quick uh, um, uh, the quick stick pass and also this uh, lane pass and the third option is typically the high lane. So first of all with knowing the options your opponent can, can pass or like to pass then you can adapt very well your defense on that. So what I'm trying to say is like when you know that he can do the stick pass and the lane pass and the high lane pass on these three spots then you cover uh, the lane pass like that, the wall pass like that, and also the high lane, lane with this man like that, right? So um, that means the common mistake I see is like people not knowing um, the, the, the pass options of the opponent. So in the given example, when the opponent is like, for example, just standing here, um, he's not covering any options of the opponent. So the high lane is open, uh, the, the lane is open and the stick wall is open. So um, that's what I'm trying to say that um, you, you really need to know the passing options of your opponent so, so that you know where, where to stand and where not to stand. Because it doesn't make any sense that you, you, stand, you cover any hole where your opponent will never, um, will never execute, execute a pass. <laughs> So gathering information about the offensive five bar um, of the opponent is like everything what I tried to explain in the uh, in the other questions. So so reading the five bar offense of your opponent is all about knowing the setup. That means um, is the ball always on the right position, for example, or uh, which kind of setup is he like doing a very um, slow setup like. 
uh, the ball is rolling and the man is always behind the ball or is he doing a tic-tac series and then um, passing out of the running ball then you have to know about the technical skills of your opponent um, remembering the spots which he's playing and also which which passes he maybe doesn't like to play but he's able to do it and then also of course look at the quality of the passes so that you know how how to place your defending man so when the technique is not very good it might it might be enough to to be like that so that your opponent cannot pass um, along the wall um, but if you have an opponent who who has a really good uh, technique he can go through that so let's say you already gather a few information about your opponent. We will stay with the example I gave you before. So like we have the sweet spot on that spot near the, the wall. Um, and we have that he's going to pass on these spots. So um, now I know, okay, those two passes are the sweet spots of my opponent. So how can I make my opponent having a hard time? I will give my opponent a very, very hard timing with showing him this for example, I cover very quick the wall and also the field, wall, field, wall, field. And I, I don't waste time with going to any other spot because those are the sweet spots of my opponent. And if he doesn't have any other options he's uh, likely to do, then, um, then it will also provoke uh, execution mistakes of your opponent. So let's say he can also do a field pass on the first spot. Here's the first spot. Um, and, and when he's doing a, a field pass from here, it just only goes until here. So my man is only defending that spot, right? So uh, let's say he can also do that pass. Um, then, it's, then it's like you have to gather that information too. So he will maybe the next time he will, he sees that you're just covering the sweet spots and then and he will do a quick lane pass here. Um, and, the next, and the next time you know that, right so let's say you 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 are going and, and you're always waiting until the ball is here for example um, and you you go on these uh, sweet spots and then the next time when the ball is here again for the for the for the lane pass of course then you will cover first of all that that hole um, so when the ball is going then further on that and that, that spot you go back to the defense right so um, as long as your opponent is not showing another pass from that spot then the, the field, the lane pass, um, then you don't need to do any changes, right? So the five bar defense is really about um, analyzing the options of your opponent, the timing of your opponent, and having a feeling of um, which passes he likes to do and which are very uncomfortable for him. And then creating a five bar defending um, where your opponent really doesn't feel comfortable because that will provoke some execution mistakes. You always want to force your opponent um, to do what he doesn't like to do and also makes him feel like he has limited options on the defending you are giving him. I will show you three exercises to improve your five bar defense. The first one is practicing to cover the right spots. Practicing covering the right spots could be kind of boring but will definitely help you to improve your blocking. When you are jumping to the, to the lane pass, to the field pass, um, then you have to practice that you are going here um, on the correct spot, right? So when you're blocking that you are not um, like not too far away from the real field pass, right? Generally, it's, it's very important that you are able to, um, to cover the hole you really want to cover. And that's like with every other spot too. You just need to know where, where the spots are, which, which you want to cover. Um, of course, adjusting it to, to the passing options of your opponent, but um, it's really necessary to, to practice that so that you always um, uh, be there when you want to be there. For the second one, you will need a sparring partner. The exercise is called five bar duel. The five bar duel is really cool um, exercise uh, to practice uh, the offensive five bar as well as the defensive five bar. I am the offensive part at the moment and my partner would be the defensive part. Um, we play six six passes which I, which I catch, um, then I win. And when my opponent, uh, my partner is um, blocking four, 
then uh, my, my partner won and we play best of three and then it's like you play like in a real game right so if I if I have the ball and I lose it then it's a point for for the for your partner right for the defending part and if I play and I pass and I get I get the rebound then then I just continue playing like in a real game right so also um, when I am passing and I I didn't catch it and it goes back and you you don't defend um, or, or hit the ball or whatever and I get it back on the five bar then I can continue as soon as it's like out of the area of this um, then it's like a point for the defender after one best of three is over you switch of course the positions um, so that both um, can play the defensive and the offensive part and I would recommend to do it at least three times so um, everyone should do the offensive as well as the defensive part three times so that it makes sense that you can analyze um, and adapt and um, try to use the use the information you uh, gathered um, and then also maybe talk with your with your um, partner about how how did you block me how did you, I block you etc um, etc et so that you can of course have benefits from each other and the third exercise is simply just try to consciously um, gather information in the next matches you you are playing so that you can get a feeling for it how it is because a good five bar defense needs a lot of experience i hope you can level up your defending analysis with this episode i wish you a lot of fun by practicing your five bar defense thanks for watching and joining with me the strategy sunday episode stay tuned to travel to a deeper understanding of the game next week see you soon Fußballs. i cannot wait for another journey with you